Hello and welcome to English with Jimmy. And today's subject is about punctuation marks. Uh, punctuation marks are uh, the period or the full stop, question mark, exclamation point, comma, colon, a semicolon, dash, a hyphen, brackets, braces, parentheses, uh, apostrophes, quotation marks, and ellipses. If you noticed uh, when I was reading, I was saying the period, question marks, I waited half a second because of the comma. It told me to wait half a second, okay? Uh, if there's a full stop, I'll wait like a second because it's the end of a sentence or a paragraph. If there is a colon, it tells me there's a, a list coming. So uh, like someone reading uh, on television or whatever, and the winners are, and then he can see there's a colon there on the auto queue in front of him uh, behind the camera. And it tells him that he's going to list, got a list of names coming. So it helps to change the tone or, and the speed of your reading, okay? So punctuation marks are useful, not only for writing business letters and CVs and so on, but also it's important for readers as well, okay? Now let's start. A full stop shows the end of a sentence or a paragraph, okay? Examples, as you can see, good morning, that's it. Question mark shows that you are asking a question, okay? How much is, right? Uh, a comma, it joins two, uh, <clears throat> two parts of a sentence or two sentences together, okay? And if you have a series of things like names to be listed, okay, it also shows that you can, uh, um, uh, uh, or, or in a salutation or at the end of a formal letter. Yes, that's true, okay? So that is the, uh, the, uh, the comma, uh, as you can see here from the examples in front of you. Uh, a quotation mark if you're going to quote someone, okay? So if you're going to say Shakespeare said to be or not to be, that's a question. You put it in quotation. Um, the great president JFK Kennedy said, ask not what you can do, or what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. That's a quotation, a great one as well, okay? Um, also, we have colon, introduces uh, uh, introduction for information, a colon, okay? Uh, the team players are Mark, Steve, John, and Richard, okay? Whatever, that's a colon. A semicolon connects two sentences uh, who are, uh, that are related in the same subject. So you know that the coming part or the coming sentence after the first sentence is connected to it. It's not separate from it, okay? Um, Okay, William went to the market, he will be back soon. Uh, exclamation mark, it shows uh, surprise and wonder, okay? I can't believe that a man landed on the moon, all right? At, we use at for email address, okay? Like, you, you all know that. Apostrophe, to relate a letter to a word, like when you say, this is Harry's car, we use the apostrophe here, okay? Uh, so it shows that... Uh, 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 the S reflects on Harry to show that the car belongs to him, okay? A slash. A slash is to separate words or numbers or letters or something, okay? We will work on Monday, okay, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Uh, you, can, you can use commas as well, but, uh, okay? Round brackets uh, or parentheses to contain Further thoughts or information, like she bought a, a colorful flowers bouquet, open bracket, uh, which means daisies, roses, and uh, magnolias, or whatever, okay? Uh, which consists of, uh, of, of, you, can, you need to add, to add or, or of, or consists of, whatever. Ellipses, okay, like when you have the three dots like this, okay? Is that to show that a word or a letter are left out intentionally? So today is the beginning of a new era. For some reason, you don't want to mention something here intentionally. A hyphen. A hyphen, as you can see there, it joins words together to show that they have uh, they, uh, have co uh, connected meanings, okay? Or that uh, words are divided into parts. You can... Okay, a word can like be like a bedroom, or I don't know. Some words are divided into parts, so you can use a hyphen in them. Okay. Uh
we go further in low, okay? Uh, underscore, you use it in email sometimes, okay? A dash is a similar to a hyphen, actually. You use to separate part of a sentence, which is similar. Underline, you underline something that's important, okay? So you can say, uh, next meeting will be tomorrow morning and uh, at, uh, um, at 8, uh, uh, no, no, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., okay? Not p.m. P.m. past midday and a.m. after midnight. Very good. That's correct. Okay. So yes, past midday after midnight. So remember that one. An asterisk. Asterisk uh, uh, of the star shape primarily is used to call attention to a footnote, something at the bottom of the letter or something like that. Okay. Uh, to indicate an omission or a disclaimer. Yes. We, we have this, okay, which often appear in advertisement, okay? And the address up, uh, sometimes could be a, a part of an address of a company logo, something like that, okay? Uh, and sometimes often placed in front of uh, construction that are ungrammatical, something like uh, asterisk, as you can see. Sometimes also in mathematics, in multiplication, like four times five, okay? Instead of writing times, you put an asterisk, okay? So that is the use of the asterisk. Uh, one more thing, I think I've left or something. And, yes, and. Uh, um, it's called uh, Amber's and uh, symbol, okay? And it has this uh, symbol over there, okay? This. And, uh, um, and, and, okay, essentially means you're adding something to something. So. In the body of the paper uh, as part of a citation, okay? Or at the end of the paper as part of a reference, okay? You can, you can, you can use it, right? It can be used as part of a, a logo as well, okay? Uh, we use uh, the symbol and instead of the word and in titles, okay? In, uh, uh, in signing or, or website uh, buttons, uh, just for short, if you don't have enough space, okay? Uh, if the space is limited, right? Uh, part of organization branding. Yeah, it's part of the brand. Sometimes you could use it, okay? And uh, business writing and email sometimes, yes. Uh, because of the speed of life now and computers and, and uh, communication is so fast and writing is so fast, people don't have time to write uh, letters and things. It's just instead of and, they put just uh, the symbol and. That's how... Uh, to, to, to make our brains function uh, faster, instead of reading three letters, it reads one letter, and it gets the still same meaning. So the symbol is uh, important here in uh, uh, speed reading. Okay, a percentage sign, okay, we all know it, yes, and this is how we, uh, we use this, okay. Interest rates went up by whatever. Uh, a brace, uh, Brace for like, uh, it's like uh, coats as well, okay, uh, or uh, uh, brackets. It could be used for listing numbers rather than quotation and things like that, okay. And uh, square brackets is used to explain a meaning. So if you wrote something about some information and you want to put, put the meaning of what you just said, like an, a complicated expression, like pediatrician. So you can say he's a doctor for children, all right. So you can put it between square brackets. Um, that's it really, okay, uh, roughly, it's about 14 of them or something, but uh, all what I want to say, guys, is that uh, quotation marks, okay, and, uh, uh, okay, punctuation marks in general, okay, in general, right, are very important for writers and for readers, okay, it helps the reader uh, regulate the speed he's reading, okay? And how a, co a comma will give you half a second and a full stop or period will give you a second to wait. And a colon will tell you that there's a list coming. It, it's really very important and it helps people who read, uh, especially people on television and the radio and things like that. Also, it's important for people who are writing business letters and CVs. So you should be careful and, and you should be aware of them 
and be careful when you use them and use them correctly because the people, if you're sending, applying for a job, the personnel department, not the personnel. Personnel means personal matter. Personnel, personnel department, they pay attention to these things. They look at your CV and they see how you're using the commas and the semicolons and the periods and exclamation points and the question marks and the brackets, okay, and, and uh, uh, phrases and apostrophes. And uh, he, they, they pay attention to these things in the personnel department, okay? And when they find a CV that is really messy and the person can't write, write it properly, uh, they say, oh, well, they'll probably put it aside and you're not gonna get priority for interviews, okay? So please, and also in business, if you're applying for uh, some kind of a deal or, or a business deal, you you need to know uh, 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 or a tender, okay, like you applying for a job or, or a tender or a, a business deal with the government or whatever. These are very important things, okay? Uh, quotation marks, the little things, but they show a lot about the person education and capabilities uh, to. Uh, communicate. Well, um, that's it, girls and guys, and I thank you.